Welcome back viewers to Super Koopa Island Hot Takes video part 2. As you are aware, this is the second part of the Hot Takes video. It's been a while since I've done the first one, so let's get right into the second one. If you're not aware how this works, I'm going to be reacting to your guys' Super Koopa Island Hot Takes. And note, I'm just going to go by what you guys say. Some of these words are misspelled, so I'm going to try to do my best to read them. Alright, let's get to it. Our first hot take comes from that basket guy OC. I definitely spelled that wrong. Anyways, their hot take is hot take. Mark should have stayed in the game since he actually had a villain art going for him, and he should have been and it should have been Luigi or Waluigi since unlike Marks, they didn't do much in the show in general. Honestly, I I would agree with you, but at that point in time, I would have said like Luigi and Waluigi probably should have went earlier. But now, no, Marks need to get eliminated because I'm not going to reveal too much in the overarching story, but Marks needs to be there. He's going to be a humongous asset, and he's going to be playing a huge role in the overarching story of Super Koopa Island. So he needed to get eliminated early so he could set that all up because he was originally going to get all the way to the final 12. Yeah, not kidding. He's gonna, he was going to be like 12th place. And we, and we had to come early because he needs to be here for the overarching story. But for Luigi and Waluigi getting out earlier, I honestly respect that since a lot of people say they're going to go far. But, um, but we don't even know where they're going to place now. But honestly, this is a really good hot take. You did well. All right, and our next hot take comes from Coolest Mario. And their hot take is, uh, this is really long, so I'm going to try my best. I think Donkey Kong clearly a hate sync character, L okay? He's a hateable character, if that's what you're trying to say, then yes, Donkey Kong is extremely hated, and for good reason. Larry episodes 9 through 16 and Bowser are clearly unlikable characters. Well, yeah, they, the thing is they were all made to be dislikable. We'll get to Larry in a second. Donkey Kong was taking things too far, but that he was a hint sink larry being a crybaby and having no remorse for eliminating his best bro for bowser jr and bowser who was being stupid and mentally bullied a contestant while having his own enemy those being mario and luigi on the team he is so idiotic that he got himself the boot plus his voice is super annoying and obnoxious <laughs> though no not worse than all the hated characters that like Jeffy from SML and actually apologize in episode 14 and Redemption, all of them deserve to be on the Loathsome Wiki. Okay, uh, where to begin? Like I said with Donkey Kong, he is very hated for a good reason. He is very straining on my voice. I really should have done better with him if I'm being honest. He could have been a way better character. Larry? Okay, yes. I 100% agree that Larry's it was kind of like a regression. The whole point of that arc was to make seem like Larry wanted to be independent. And like Ludwig, his own brother, went against it, him. Supposedly, but it was really inky. And then like from episode 9 through 16, it had this very... I have to say it was really rushed, not well developed enough. And it could have been a lot better arc. That being the Ludwig and Larry arc. It kind of sucked, if I'm being honest. I could have done a lot better. And yes, I do agree. That was my fault for not having Larry be remote. Like, he did not feel bad for eliminating Bowser Jr. Since he technically got him eliminated. Since he forced the tiebreaker. But, at the same time, he did apologize in episode 17. So this basically becomes like, I guess a little untrue. But, yeah. Also, Bowser, yes, I do agree. Bowser probably is one of the stupidest contestants to ever compete because... He had, his, he had the perfect opportunity to take over the game, but he didn't. He just spent his time arguing with Mickey, and he just let Mario, Luigi, Sonic, and Shadow take control of the team. And I do agree his voice is very obnoxious. It is very hard to do. But all of them deserving to be on the, uh, the, the, the Loathsome Wiki? That's really funny. I have to admit that. And our next hot take comes from Pork Studios 1237 and our hot take is hot take. First, the Ludwig and Larry plotline got really annoying. Here we go again. Yeah, it wasn't really even that hated on. Like, everybody was actually defending Larry. But after episode 14, he just became one of the most hated characters. And look, uh, yeah, at this point, I'm not even going to hide it. That plot line kind of sucked, and it could have been a whole lot better. I really wish 
I kind of ruined that a lot better. It could have been way better executed. Yoshi should have joined over Blue Toad. At first, I would have disagreed, but yeah, Toad didn't offer much. That's why I gave him the boot, the boot in the most recent episode. Yeah, I didn't want to eliminate him. I wanted him to go much farther, but he just didn't offer much. Plus, his arc was already wrapped up, so maybe Yoshi might have should have joined. Since he kind of like got like in top two and in all the uh, poll contestant votes. So, yeah, I kind of agree with that. Um, Mickey is my favorite character, even when he was annoying. Okay, that's... It seems like Mickey has become one of, one of the most fan favorites. <clears throat> Sorry. It seems like Mickey's become the fan favorite. Because, like, ever since, like, I would like to say, um... What would you like to say? Episode 9? Or maybe 12? I would say episode 12 is when he really started to become, like, a fan favorite. So, like, I respect that opinion. And I don't like Shadow or Tails. Yeah, they've both been getting hated on. I understand why they're getting hated on, but Shadow's gone now, and uh, Tails is still in the game. I do respect your opinion. They're all hated on for very reasonable reasons. All right, and our next hot take comes from Mario Plush slash BG1N, and their hot take is, hot take, I think that Heat Blast and Squidward would have been an awesome final two. Their chemistry is really good, and honestly, I could have seen them being the protagonists of this season, and even defeat Grape together. Hot take to Survivor Stance, I don't want to insult you, Iggy, but Survivor Stance is a better episode creator than you. Okay, for the first one... What dynamic? Look, it is your opinion, and I respect that, but they're, they only had a dynamic for one episode, and it was brung, brung up back again in episode 17. Out of all dynamics, I have to ask you, please comment below if you're watching this, why you picked that dynamic over all other dynamics, because I'm really curious. Um, them being the protagonist and even the final two, uh... I won't spoil who's the protagonist, by the time we get to, like, down to, like, the final five contestants... It's going to become really clear who the protagonist is, but um, for Squidward and Heat Blast being the protagonists, th th they're, they're some pretty weird picks, I have to be honest. But I do respect that opinion, because like you like their dynamic, I guess, and them even defeating Grape together. So you're saying like you want them to be like this final two, and they're like going against Grape because Grape's the big antagonist. Like I need to, I just need to say this again. I'm not I'm not defending Grape here, but Grape is not an antagonist. He's an anti-hero. Morally gray, if you want to put it like that. Which, because like, I'm, I kind of get confused why people just keep calling him a villain when he's really not a villain. Also, Sans being a better episode creator than me. Yeah, I, I brought this up before. Sans is a better writer. But I have ideas that I want to put out on paper. Sans is just like touching it up to make it, you know, a little better. So, you know, the story's a little bit more cohesive. It makes more sense. But trust me. Trust me. What I'm writing for, like, the main arc of this season, trust me. You guys are going to love it. It's going to get dark. Trust me. All right. And our next hot take comes from Super Plush Production. And their hot take is, first up, we have Lemmy really deserves to win. Okay. I don't know if anybody knew this, but in the original Super Koopa Island, Lemmy was originally going to be the winner. But now... We'll see. We'll see if he is the winner. Number two, I really hope Donald or Kermit or Goofy rejoins. So Mickey Mouse has more allies. The, the whole point of his arc is that, like, they're supposed to be gone. But it would be pretty nice if one of them rejoins. We'll see. Since there is going to be only one more rejoin. And finally, Morton is the dumbest person ever. Um, yeah, he pretty much is. This guy is an absolute dumbass. And... I like Overflow because he's honestly, he's really funny. Once again, Overflow is a controversial contestant. You either love him or you hate him. Okay, I can't tell if this was a hot take or not, but I'm going to include it anyway. So, our next one comes from Henry Qua... I cannot read that. I am so sorry. I just cannot read that, man. Uh, okay, his hot take, I assume, is I never expected Marks to come short. Just like that. But you know what? The sooner Marks is out, the less trouble is around. Yeah, you make a fair point there, but he was going to make it a lot further. Like I keep saying, he was going to make it fi make Final 12, but he it was cut down shorter because he needs to be here for the main arc. Man, I really want to tell you guys about it, but I can't because guess what? I like I don't like spoilers. I like to keep everything hidden. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure this wasn't a hot take either, but I'm gonna include it anyways. It's from Diego Tunes. Yeah, and I know this guy. His hot take, I assume, is why Squidward is trying to eliminate Mickey and SpongeBob after he joined with Grape in, in episode 17. Diego, you know you could have just watched the episode, right? I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but if you don't understand something that was explained in the episode, you can just watch it. But I'll explain for you right here. Squidward didn't want to be with Mickey and Spongebob because he thinks that would just lead to his inevitable elimination. And he thinks joining with the Rebellion Alliance will give him a better shot at winning. Which, the whole case is supposed to be from like a... Um, two perspectives, because Grape thinks going with Mickey and Spongebob is the right move. And Squidward thinks going with the Rebellion Alliance is the right move. You don't know whose side you should pick, but from the way it's going, I'm pretty sure you can know who's in the right and who's in the wrong. Okay, I'm not gonna, um, not, I'm not gonna lie here. I think this might be my favorite hot take, just because of how much detail he goes into. So our hot take comes from Eric Sonic's number one fan, and his hot take is, Mickey is hella overrated. He is kind of on the same level as Gabby from Disventure Camp, as of how overrated they are. Woo, boy! He is amazing, but cons but people consider him S tier. I personally say A tier. The thing is, after the first few episodes, he was so annoying and made me literally skip part pat <laughs> skip parts where he was in. He redeemed himself and it was A plus. But everyone considers him S, which I don't think he is. And since he became overrated, he just became A. As I don't like characters that are overrated. Sure, the, the episodes where he was annoying were only a few, and there's going to be around 30 episodes. And if he makes it far and keeps up the amazing character, he is probably going to get S tier. But even maybe wouldn't say S tier, because unless you're a character like Heather, being so much on screen gets old, and I rank it lower. And since Mickey isn't at the same good character level as Heather, I hope he doesn't have too much screen time. Still hope he's a finalist. Okay. Like I said, I like how much detail this guy goes into. Not not trying to dampen it, everybody else, but I feel like the hot taste should be more like this. Yeah, but first, like, saying Mickey is as overrated as Gabby, that's honestly pretty base, because now that I'm looking it, into it, Gabby is a little bit overrated. But am I calling Mickey overrated? That's up to you guys to decide. I'm not going to put my opinion in, in there, but saying that, damn. But and he, and he thinks everybody considers him S when he says that a he's A plus, which honestly you can kind of get the point where he's saying saying like how he wishes he doesn't have too much screen time and like there's not too many screen hogs because that make them like overrated. I honestly respect that because like trust me, we're not here to like give um, s screen time to like er like Pacific contestants because that's a problem with this venture camp. They give so much screen time to Jake and Rhea because, like, and that's why I hate them because, like, they took up all the screen time and I just want those assholes to be eliminated. But, and so our goal is to, like, have, like, every contestant get, like, equal amount of screen time. Sure, some others don't get that much, but that's because they just have nothing to do in that episode. And saying, like, he's he's not on the same level as Heather because, yeah, yeah, Heather is S tier. I love Heather so, Heather so much. Sorry, I'm kind of stuttering today. I'm trying my best. Um, but I have to say, he still hope he's a finalist. Yeah, everybody thinks Mickey's going to be a finalist. He might be a finalist. He might not be. You'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, you did a really good job with this, man. Keep up the good work. Okay, and back again. Our next hot take comes from Lollipop Sells Fork Repellent, 27397. Should not have included that, but here we go. He has three hot takes. Number one, I believe that Scooby was an odd pick to give the amnesia plot to. I won't go into that. I do agree it does seem weird and weird in concept, but it's going to be explained down the road. Probably in the next few episodes. Wink, 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 wink. Uh, number two, uh, none of the hosts are interesting in the slightest. That's, yeah, I do agree, but trust me, I can see your point there. They are, most of them are kind of bland, like BB-8 and, and Chef RD, but uh, it, they're going to get a plot. Trust me, it's kind of hinting at, and like in the next few episodes, I think you might be changing your mind, but it's still your opinion, and I respect that. And number three, the only coupling that feels at, worthy of a cast slot is Ludwig, due to the rest being basic and bland. I would argue back, but I kind of agree here i honestly kind of respect this because yeah most of the couplings are bland i just wish i came up with something better damn why did he hit it where he hit the truth hard man good yeah still i respect your opinion here
Okay, I don't think this is a hot take, but I'm still going to include it anyways. I know I said that three times, but you guys need to put hot take at the beginning of your sentences. Anyways, our next one comes from Macaroni17-D5E. What I think will be the list of the eliminated contestants. So this is his hypothetical elimination order. Let's see. We got 19th Tails, 18th Wario, 17th David, 16th Roy, 15th Grape, 14th Sans, 13th Lemmy, 12th Mario, 11th Mr. Krabs, 10th Meta Knight, 9th SpongeBob, 8th Scooby, 7th Sonic, 6th Iggy, 5th Ludwig, 4th Waluigi, 3rd Mickey, 2nd Squidward, 1st Luigi. I feel like... First of all, yeah, you forgot Larry, I think. Is he on here? Yeah, he forgot Larry. And uh, secondly, um, I gotta know why. Because some of these placements are kind of weird. It seems like, yeah, everybody is saying that Tails, Wario, and Grape are going to be some of the next first boots. They're going to be like the next three boots. Next contestants eliminated. And that is your opinion, I agree with. But it's so weird. Like, I have to, under I have to ask, like, why do you think that way? And also, Luigi, Squidward, and Mickey as the final three. Now, I, I respect that. But like I said, I can't go into the, the elimination order. I know what the elimination order is, but... Like, it might be. This might be the elimination order. It might not be. Who knows? I'm not spoiling. All right. And our final hot take comes from Kelly Robinson, 164. And their hot take is... Do you think Donkey Kong is going to hate Squidward for not only betraying Mickey and Spongebob and Toad, but also joining Ludwig's alliance? Also, DK hates Ludwig now. I think he's going to hate Squidward for betraying Mickey, Spongebob, and Toad. And DK said back in episode 8 that Squidward was his friend. But now, I don't think Donkey Kong wants to be friends with Squidward anymore because he joined Ludwig's alliance. And I think Heat Blast is also going to stop being friends with Squidward after what he did. Donkey Kong... Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be brung up. I'm just going to say this right now. It's going to be brung up in a later episode that he is going to hate Squirt for what he's done. Heat Blast, uh, let's just keep that up in the air for right now. I can't reveal too much because, damn, I'm, I don't, like I said before, I don't like spoiling. And with that, that is Super Koopa Island Hot Takes Part 2. If you guys want Part 3, make sure to comment your hot takes in this video or on the community post I'll make later. And with that all being said, I will see you guys later.